optimize a team of UFC fighters to compete online or offline in a variety of exciting challenges. Every fight earns you coins you can use to purchase ultimate team packs containing better fighters, better moves, and other ways to improve your team. Powerful new items are available all the time. Compete in ultimate championships, single player championships, or the all new solo challenges to rank up, earn coins, and build your baddest UFC ultimate team. Lightweight showdown between Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG, Ireland, on the MMA map. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. What a career this man has carved out since his time on The Ultimate Fighter. Won season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter and picked up exactly where he left off. Dusting qualified lightweights left and right, finishing nearly everyone along his path to contention. Tony Ferguson, at some point, you gotta think, Joe, will find that UFC belt right around his waist. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is four years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin.
So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready to fight. Ready. And we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Oh, that kick is good by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Oh, McGregor's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious lift. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance from getting off these shots. Oh, and he connects there. Oh, he got tagged. It's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. He's just picking him apart. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. there by another hook. He's connected on a few oh. looks like it did start him a little bit. This could be it. That's Ooh, a hard hook. A huge hook there, Joe. He hurt him with that hook. Oh! oh! Fantastic fight. Huge punch for the victory. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And here is again another angle. And here we see it again. Boom! Out cold. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with Eddie Bravo and the rest after yet another massive performance here tonight. Dimensions, I think that it's time to shoot. And if you don't mind, hop off my line, cause I'm inclined to find a new guy. Every city that I go in, every town I hit. Scrolling through my IG, I found a bitch, yeah. Flipping through the pages, baby name station, the bitch is outrageous. And I love the shit that she do for me. Keep it 100 and being true for me. See, ain't no bitch like this bitch I hate. She rolled my side piece, baby, keep making it. 